subscribe Woodward Sports. Coming up on 42,000 subscribers. Hit that like button. See if we can go to over 100 likes by the end of this segment with our good friend Jeff Risden, the managing editor for Lions Wire. You can find him on Twitter at Jeff Risden. Joining us now. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Thanks for the time, my friend. Uh, this is my fun week, guys. This is good to be with you. <laughs> Do you think this organization believes for uh, 90%, 90% of them, believe that Jameson Williams is going to be fine long-term, or will they have to protect themselves in this year's draft? I, I don't think they'll, I don't think it does much for the draft. It might, like, move up a wide receiver priority. Like, if they were thinking about a guy maybe in the sixth round, maybe it was like a guy in the fifth round, or, you know, if it was a fifth-round guy, maybe, maybe we'll take him, like, in the fourth or something like that, you know, make, make a move there. I don't think it's, like, a big long-term thing. I think it's one of those things where they have to realize that they – the impetus is on themselves to get JMO right, and he has to want to get right too. I would assume that all the character evaluation that they do, and they do a very exhaustive, you know, player research thing. We talked about that a whole Jalen Carter this, this draft. That JMO cleared all that last year, and hopefully their their instincts were right on it. Uh, if not, it does call into question what exactly they're looking for in players and how they're evaluating the character on these guys. Hey, Jeff, it's Maz. Thanks again for coming on with us. Looking forward to Thursday, our, our Super Bowl here in Detroit. For used now, at least, it used to be our Super Bowl. We're looking past that now. I just want to talk to you about the quarterbacks in this draft and all the movement. C.J. Stroud supposedly moving down. Will Levis skyrocketing now to maybe the number one pick from what we hear. Uh, what's your take on the big four quarterbacks and then Hendon Hooker. Yeah, so C.J. Stroud is my number one overall player in this draft. I think he's going to be a star. He reminds me a lot of Andrew Luck as a draft prospect. Wow. What? And, uh, yeah, absolutely. He, 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 his ball placement and timing and anticipation throws uh, are, are top-notch. I mean, it's better than anybody that we've seen uh, at least since Burrow and probably beyond that. He's got that kind of stuff. Uh, Ohio State asked him not to run. They asked him to to stay with plays probably longer than he should have, uh, and that's really the only time that he ever got into trouble at Ohio State. He's he's going to be. Uh, I I think the I think he's a the next like great star. I think he's better than Bryce Young. Uh, Bryce Young is, is really good. He's good. I I still absolutely believe he's going number one to Carolina, uh, and it's not just the height with him. Uh, everybody talks about like, oh, he was. Look at the comebacks that he did in Texas and Tennessee and, and LSU and, and the close games. Like, the reason why he had to come back was because he sucked for a while in those games. Like he, he is, um, he's very, very good. But I think he he got protected a little bit by how good Alabama was around him. Uh, he doesn't always use the, the the right footwork. Doesn't always do things on time exactly. And I think that's going to be a little bit more troublesome for him in the NFL. Uh, especially at Carolina, because uh, they're receiving their best receivers now in Chicago. <laughs> That's going to be an issue for them. But he's, I, I, I still like him. I think he's going to be good. Uh. Levis, man, I, I don't get Levis. I just don't. Uh, I ranked him in my 60s overall as a player. He can throw the fastball. That's all he's got. He doesn't have the off speed. He doesn't have the changeup. He doesn't hit sure well. Uh, he didn't ever make anybody better around him. You know, we talk about Tennessee not having a good supporting cast. Well, he didn't help them. Uh, and that, that's something that you want to look for. Like, I, I do think that C.J. Stroud had a positive impact on guys like Marvin Harrison and Kara Wilson uh, and, and Jackson Smith and Njibba, who's probably the top wide receiver in this draft. Uh, and then you get to Anthony Richardson. Uh, Anthony Richardson, man, he's a lottery ticket. Because if, he, if, you, if you scratch off the right numbers on that dude, you've got, you've got somebody that's equal to, if not better than Cam Newton. But, like... You might not have any coins to scratch with, and that's that's the big risk. Uh, I, I can see him being an, a future MVP. I can also see him not getting a second contract. Like it's wide wow. open with that dude. Uh, All and right, that, that's scary. Uh, scary good if your team is taking him and you've got a coaching staff that can develop players. Detroit, or it's scary if you're a team that just you know goes through the motions and chucks people out all the time and has a lot of instability. That would be the Raiders, uh, among others, and uh, that that worries me. And then Hooker. And if he was 22 and healthy, like, he's a top 10 pick. But he's 25 and won't play this year. That's tough to sell. Uh, I, I personally, I got to spend about 15 minutes with him solo down in Mobile for the, the Senior Bowl. I love the dude. He's super bright. 
He's very self-aware. He's very football bright. I think he, he can transcend the limitations of Tennessee's offense. But uh, you're asking for delayed gratification on a guy that's already, you know, up there. And and I don't, I don't want to call their offense primitive because it worked for them, but it's not something that easily translates to the NFL. By the way, that's true with their wide receivers, too. If you're looking at Jalen Hyatt and Cedric Tillman, uh, they probably get overhyped more than he does by by the fans because of what they did in that system. Uh, that system is much easier for wide receivers than it is for quarterbacks because quarterbacks still have to actually make reads and do things. Wide receivers basically have one thing to do on every play, and, oh, the ball's coming my way, I'll catch it. Uh, that's that's pretty simple. Um, Braylon, you can probably attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Risden well, joining us, of course, here on Woodward Sports. The second half here, Jeff, we uh, – Lions are up at six. Are they out on Jalen Carter, and who are they taking? I don't think they're going to have to worry about Jalen Carter because I, I I do a ton of, like, the interactive mocks where we get, like, writers or people from every team, and uh, I've done six of them in the last week, and five of the six, Jalen Carter has gone to the Seattle Seahawks, and in the other one, he went third to Arizona, uh, and that one was no, no trades allowed. So I don't think he's going to be – I, don't, I, don't, I, I think all this discussion we've had for months and months is – kind of moot because I don't think he's going to be there. Uh, the the big, big question is, is it going to be Will Anderson? Will he be there? Von Witherspoon, uh, I do expect him to be there. Or do they pull the big surprise and take the quarterback that's still there, whether it's Stroud or Richardson or possibly even Levis, though I, I don't think they're Levis fans. And, I mean, your guess is probably as good as mine like, right now. Right. I, I will tell, I'll share this story. I covered the Cleveland Browns in 2018 when John Dorsey was the general manager. We did not know when we went to bed Wednesday night before Thursday's draft that Baker Mayfield was going to be the number one overall pick. There were people that were in that draft room that did not know that Baker yeah. Mayfield was going to be the number one pick until less than 24 hours before that draft. And I know that John Dorsey has a big influence in that way on what's going on with Brad Holmes and the Detroit Lions right now. So I don't expect to know. Uh, I can make good educated guesses, and my, my my educated guess is if Will Anderson is there, he's the pick. If it's not him, it will be Devon Witherspoon. Oh, no, I Jeff. can't rule out a quarterback even though I, I – it would surprise me, but I can't rule it out. I got to go back to this whole Caesar, uh, the uh, Bryce Young conversation. You said he was playing bad early in games. That's why they got behind. That's why he had to come back. That's what you're sticking with. He wasn't alone in playing poorly. Like, and they're they're oh. receiving for it was not what Alabama has has consistently tried it out. But yeah, he made some late decisions. He made some late throws. Uh, made some wrong reads, uh, and uh, especially the Tennessee game. Uh, that defense that defense had speed. Uh, that that's one of the things that Tennessee had. And uh, there's uh, he's not this flawless prospect outside of his size that I think a lot of people are making him out to be. He's very, very good. He's, he's a very talented player. He's my number four overall player. I don't have a problem with him going number one overall because I think the upside is there. But he's given a, a, a bigger pass than I think most quarterbacks. Are, like, if you switch C.J. Stroud and put him at Alabama and you put him at Ohio State, I wonder how much of that anti-Ohio State bias or Alabama bump um, would impact how we feel about those guys. I don't know, but, but I, I, that's just fun to think about. Well, it didn't matter because C.J. Stroud had a better wide receiver core and he still couldn't beat Michigan. So, obviously, it's apparently, good. it would not have mattered. The way I look at it with uh, Bryce Young is, did he have Jalen Waddle and all those guys that Tua had? Did he have the same guys like Julio and Mays that A.J. McCarron had? When's the last time Alabama's had an offensive lineman go in the first round? Like they didn't, he did he he didn't have the same no, fighting system. words. He didn't Jeff. have fighting the words. same Alabama that they're known for, and yet and still he was yeah. a national championship two years ago. And if Jameson Williamson doesn't get hurt, they win it. I'm sticking with Bryce Young as my number one. Hey, hey Jeff, what do you think about Bijan Robinson? That's my pick at six. If Will Anderson is not there, Will Anderson, Tyree Wilson, whoever, Bijan is my pick at six. Am it, I crazy? The pick is in. How early does he go, Bijan Robinson? Top ten. Top 20. Great question. Uh, I I don't think he's going at six. I, I'll say this. He's one of those prospects that, like, whenever you put him in a mock draft, whether it's six or eight to Atlanta or 10 to Philadelphia or 17 to Pittsburgh even, like, every fan's like, he's great, but I don't want him. I don't. There's not value there. Yeah. And it's like every single team has that. Like, it, it's like, it's reflexive. It's like, yeah, he's awesome, but... I don't know, man. Uh, 
I would like to think that if he's there at 18, and I don't think he will be, that the Lions would consider him. But as I wrote the other day, he's fantastic. So is Jameer Gibbs. Like, Jameer Gibbs is a top 15 prospect to me. Max Charbonnet in the second rounds. He's an incredible running back coming out of UCLA. You know, guys like Ty J. Spears, Dwayne McBride out of UAB. Like, it's a ridiculously good running back. I like Ty J. Spears. Even Jean's backup, Roshan Johnson, is a guy that makes a lot of teams better. You know, he's if if you want a straight replacement for Jamal Williams, that's your dude. You're getting him in the third yeah. or fourth round. Tajay is definitely a, a good back as well. Jeff, we're up against. I got one last quick question for you. Six gotcha. and eighteen. Give me two wacky picks. Give me two crazy picks at six and eighteen that you can see happening for the Detroit pick at Lions. Six would be Anthony Richardson. Eighteen. Uh, I actually think this might happen. Lucas Van Ness from Iowa, even though he never I like that. Game. That's awesome. Wow, Great Luke, stuff. I like Lucas Van Ness at 18. Check out Jeff, managing editor for Lions Wire on Twitter at Jeff Risden. We certainly appreciate yes, you. Thanks, Thanks so much, Jeff. We appreciate it, my oh, man. Guys, so uh, it's going to be a big Thursday night. Big Thursday, big Friday. Check Ooh, out Jeff's stuff. Lions away. Wire. Absolutely. Absolutely.